Ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to show you how to create an interactive quiz in Mentimeter. So without further ado, stick close and let's climb in. So from your home page or your dashboard, you're going to go and look for the new Menti right over here at the bottom and you are going to click on the drop down menu and you can see there is a new quiz. Let's open that up. Now, once we create this new quiz, it's going to be completely interactive. Now, there are also a number of ways to actually create this quiz so you can use a bunch of templates as you can see here there's a bunch of different types of templates or you can simply go and use a blank page and you can create it from scratch now you can uh, create it absolutely from scratch or you can go and import slides all right from powerpoint keynote or just a pdf file we're going to go and start from scratch and the very th next thing you need to do is choose the type of question that's going to be in your slide now each slide is an individual interactive question so let's go with multiple choice multiple choice is always popular and it's quite fun so right at the top over here in the section you can see if you click down here it'll open the section you can customize what your um, question looks like and then you can also add a label onto that, which will give a bit of context with a small bit of text. And then you can also add additional detail to that. All right, so let's create our first question. What is a baby frog called? As I said, you can go and customize that. And once you're done there, you can come down to this section. This is where our answers will be. And you're gonna click on it, it'll be selected. And we're going to go over to the right hand side. You can see here the visual representation can be in this form, this form, this form, and then this form. There's a bunch of different options here. And here you can start entering your answers. So let's enter our answers. So we've got a tad bow, a tad pole, and a tad slow. All right. And we can also add images over here. So if you're clicking on this icon, we could add an image to each one of these options and then you can add additional options. So if you want more than three options, we can add that in and then we can have the selected uh, questions answer to show. So we can just toggle this on and you can see that we can select which answer is correct. We can also have the option to select multiple answers that could be correct. And then you can also show live responses. Thereafter, you can create new segments. And then you can go on the right hand side, you can enable your comments. You can also change the interactivity. So we can see that there are reactions enabled here. So people that are participating can leave their comments in the form of a reaction. Then there's also the Q&A option. This lets people actively ask questions during this presentation you can enable this and if you are enabling it you can have the questions visible to everybody that is involved you also have a moderation option which allows you to control what gets seen by all the participants and what doesn't and then you can also enable that live chat now once you're done you'll go up to the top right hand side and you can see that there's a present mode. You can also use the drop down menu and there's a present in Microsoft Teams if Microsoft Teams is the platform that you're using. And then you can also open a Menti note, which is basically uh, your smartphone being turned into a presentation remote, which is fantastic. And there you go. You have now created an interactive quiz.